But I got this nice comment on my channel a few months ago. Build some Indonesian traditional houses like Gedang or Hanai. And I thought, oh, what a great comment. Thank you for contributing to my channel, giving me some nice ideas. Then he said, make 100 player survival base. And I thought, whoa, that's a bit much. That's a lot of people. But he was persistent. Make 100 player survival base. Hmm, I wasn't too sure, but he did say, Andy is Yoda, make 100 player survival base. Make 100 player survival base! I thought, hmm, this guy just never ever gives up. And he said, you need to make 100 player survival base. I'm serious, Andy is Yoda, you really need to make 100 player survival base. And at this point, I thought, maybe I do. Maybe I do need to make it. Because he said it again, you must make 100 player survival base. I'm starting to doubt myself. And I said, are you crazy? A hundred players? But he said, But everyone will want to watch that! Hmm. I wasn't so sure. He didn't give up. Make 100 players survival base. Make 100 players survival base. Make 100 players survival base! But that was two weeks ago and he stopped. And I thought, oh. Finally. Finally he's given up. A bit of rest for my channel. I don't have to read that. Every time I go and look at the comments, but no, four days ago. Make 100 play survival base! And then he got angry. You noob! You can't make 100 play survival base! Nobody, Ruben, calls me a noob. Let's do this. Alrighty, so challenge accepted, Ruben. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna start with one person survival base. It's pretty compact. It's got some enchantment areas, chests, bafting crench, it's got a brewing station, lots of chests for storage, it's got anvils and things where you put things in and they go through and they, and they do things kind of thing and a little place to escape from the spiders and a portal and lots of lots of, like a jacuzzi. Okay so infinite water source included. So all you gotta do is build one of these and then if you've got lots and lots of friends like 99 friends you could make a 100 player survival base if you've got no friends like me you can use world edit alrighty let's get this built here are the ingredients just general survival ingredients the kind of things you would need for a normal survival base i will not mention them because it's pretty easy what these are let's start with the third thing, the thing, the thing, the, the portal. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four, boom, boom, boom. So make a little portal like that. As I understand it, that is the minimum size of portal required. If I'm wrong, you may dig down a bit uh, lower if that's not enough blocks for a portal. But I think that should work. Okay, um, next we're going to bring this up. One, two, three, like that. Uh, four, in fact. And then over here, one, two, three, four, four, dart. And then same on the other side. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna come across one, two, three, one, two, three. Pretty simple so far. Pretty simple so far, and then we're gonna come one, two, three, like that, and one, two, three across here, like that. Then we're gonna get some slabs. Ocus wood is slabus. Put it in the gapus. There we are. Pretty straightforward. I will just whiz around this very slowly so you can see if you are copying and following along. And a lot of you do 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 that. You do do you do you do do that. You do. You do, anyway, you do it, right? You know who you are, and you do it. So we're gonna place little fences and Trapidorus Maximus and ladders as well. So let's get this done. So the ladders come up here like this, and then we've got uh, fences, oops, like this. And these, these just curl around like that, and we're gonna go on there as well. Right, in terms of the Trapidorus Maximus, as you can see, I've put them all the way around the legs here. <gasps> I missed one, and that's just to deter the spiders Stop the spiders crawling up your legs. It's kind of gross, actually, that spiders can crawl up your legs in Minecraft. I don't like this at all. So nobody told me this at the start. But we're going to put these all the way around like that and keep the spiders at bay. Stop them climbing up. And, and, we'll put one there as well. And that's a little hatch where you can climb up. And hopefully, people tell me, people tell me that's enough. All right, people tell me that's enough to keep the spiders away. Um, let's put a couple of temporary blocks there and a couple of these and we'll just do that. That's pretty good, right? Pretty good. Okay, let's clear the inventory and as you can see, I clearly need some redstone stuff. So we've got an anvil and chest. Oh, trap chest. I don't know why I've got a trap chest, but I do have this and you don't need to use a trap chest. You could use anything you wish. So let's put this on here. So we start with the anvil. It's going to go there and any, any chest you like. It doesn't need to be that kind of chest, but... Let's make that a temporary block so I can put the hopper 
into it like that and then that's going to fill up with whatever burns in your furnace and then the furnace you need a hooper hopper on top and a chest like that same exact thing on the other side temporary block there for the hopper boom just uh, I've been playing survival so I now know survival I am not an expert but I realize exactly what you need and there's nothing like playing survival for realizing what you need in a base so we're gonna start off there with a bafting crunch right there and that completes the front let me clear my inventory I'm gonna grab hmm gonna grab some of these I'm also gonna grab some oak planks which suspiciously I haven't put down in my list there we go never mind I'm gonna go one two three four I think that's enough and one two three four I'm gonna make uh, some temporary blocks here so I can go one two three like that and then we can go for another upright and this upright comes right up to that sort of height there so that's one two three four five six seven eight in total so let's put some temporary blocks there like that should be like that so same again on the other side so I can do this one a bit quicker since you've seen it all before temporary block take that away and we'll come across here like that and temporary 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 like that that's pretty good I think that's pretty pretty fair so far uh, next I'm gonna put a little um, door on as well and let's grab a little torch and a ladder at the same time you can see up here I've started to go for a little bit of dirt or farmland uh, let's actually just make it where's dirt <laughs> I don't have any dirt I know you can't replace grass in survival I know this now I know this now um, Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually all going to be gr uh, dirt. I forgot. Sorry, guys. This is all going to be dirt. Dirt, as far as the eye can see, I think. Dirt or grass. Dirt is what probably you will place. I'll place grass in something creative mode. If you're in survival, it'll definitely be dirt. Like that. Um, what we do is here, we make this wood. And that goes like that. And we put a little door in and the ladder goes up like this. You've got one little square of uh, oak so you can um, come up in the world. Go up in the world. Right, now we go on to the back section which is the enchantment room. Miss a gap of three. And we've got temporary, temporary, temporary. Bum, bum, bum. Like that. Same around the back here I think. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. A little uh, thrap of ghee. And we've got that there. Now, the walls here are pretty much uh, bookish. Very, very bookish. In fact, this all becomes book. Book, 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 We just book the wind. And then actually two layers. And this gives you a nearly full level enchantment area. If you wanted to be full level, you need to do that if you want. But that is up to you. There, I put a door, as you can see, and I've put this little kind of balcony sticking out here four blocks one two three one two three four yep one two three one two three and then fences can go on these blocks here one two three one two three I didn't put them all the way up there because I like to disguise things with some Thrapidorus Maximus as you can see in a minute right we can get some windowage in I think right here window 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 like that let me hold the camera there for a few seconds and you can get used to what we're doing as you can see underneath here by the way 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 I put in some more Trapidorus Maximus all the way around so let's just do that while you guys are catching up I can be doing this keep those spiders at bay no one likes spiders. I'm not really scared of spiders, but I did get a fright once when I was lying in bed watching YouTube on my phone. My phone was on my chest. The room was completely dark. And the only light was coming from my phone. And what happened was I saw, the only thing I saw was the YouTube video I was watching and some spider legs making their way over the top of my phone. And it was a very big spider. Needless to say, I kind of jumped, jumped out my bed. Right, how are we doing so far? Let me just swing the camera around so you can see exactly 
what has happened so far. So we need to build up the next layer up and we're going to go like that in the corners. Like that, just because we are cool. And then we're going to have oak wood planks come across and then ochus, ochus, plankus, plankus, ochus, ochus. I think here I put a crafting bench. Am I seeing things? Yeah, it's a bafting crench right here in the gap. Another one, like an indoor bafting crench. Good. Okay, so we need some windowage in here and here. I'm going to continue this across. It's going to be our farmland like that. Yeah. Alright, I think it's time for to go completely crazy with uh, trapdoors. So I put trapdoors here, 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 just to disguise the books a little bit. And hopefully this has inspired you to build your own compact, everything possible inside it survival base. If you've got any good designs, send me the pictures on Instagram and I will uh, retweet them or put them in videos and things like that. I need to do more of that. Your pictures going into my videos. Trapidorus to Maximus. Shut up, shut up. Uh, and then around the corner as well. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right, that. There we go. And that's. Oh, no, 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 no. We need some more. We need some more. <gasps> Got the skies, the dirt. The skies, your dirt, everybody. And what I'll not do, I don't think I'll build a farm on camera because it's just hoeing and seeding and so on. And ain't nobody going to see, want to see that. Uh, let's have a look at the inside, though. Um, so I've got some. I've got some chests down here. So chests, torch, chests, brewing stands. And I think I've got different chests. I've got trap chests. So let's give this a go. So we're in here. And what we want to do is go right down to this level here and put a sunken floor because you can walk on top of chests. So I like this. This is kind of sneaky. You could put a trap chest there. An ordinary chest, a big ordinary chest, kind of like a trap chest, and I think, can you go, <gasps> what can you put there? Ah, oh, you can't put that there. Ordinary chest, and then trapped chest, let's turn it around, boom, boom. What, can, can I do that? Oh, I had it all worked out the last time. <laughs> uh, so what could I put here? Nothing. Yes, I filled it all with chests. If you fiddle about, eventually you'll get there and you can fill it all with chests. Now, did I put a cauldron in here? I may have put a cauldron in this room. Hopefully you can still open the chests. You can. And then up here, a few more chests like that, just for the heck of it. Although on this side, I think I put uh, a bed. So let's grab a bed, a blue bed. It looks jolly nice. There we go, bed up there. Um, so through here, we have our enchantment room. So obviously you're gonna need your enchanting table, like that. And there we go, but that's kinda, kinda it, I think. I don't think I've missed, I don't think I've missed anything out. Let's have a look at my master design over here. Uh, I did put a cauldron in more chests bed chest oh yeah ender chest i could do with one of them and we are a done deal and then all you got to do is maybe put on a few more a few more little chests here and there and that is it compact mini survival base up top don't forget to plant your farm and a tree is always useful just to give you that supply of wood right now all we're going to do it's very simple just build 99 more